Hey everybody, it's Alma. So we're back in the kitchen. Yes, it's the same day. I'm still recording. Again, I said the family's out of the house, so I'm recording. So we're back in the kitchen. I'm going to show you one more of my inserts. I still have a few more, but one more of my inserts on my George Foreman grill. And we're going to hop to it right now, guys. All right. See you in a bit. Um, so anyway, this is the muffin insert. This actually sets up inside of the deep dish insert. And this is where we make muffins. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray it down. Then I will preheat it probably to about 350. Okay guys, so here we are going to get started on our um, egg muffins. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is crack eight eggs. And I'm whisk it. So we have eight eggs. I'm going to throw in a box. And guys, today, quick sell. I know. I'm going to put in about eight ounces. This is a 15 ounce container. So I'm putting roughly half of it in. We're going to mix this up. I am going to chop up into manageable pieces this spinach. Two tablespoons of milk, cashew milk. Yep. What else do we need in here, guys? We need our salt and pepper. We're going to mix this up again. Okay guys, so it's been preheated, 350 degrees. We are taking a quarter cup of our mixture and putting it in the pan. We're not going to fill it all the way up to the top guys. I'm going to leave some room. Close the lid and we're... Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes. Let's check on our lovely little muffins. Look at those guys. Look how they're rising so nicely. They should be ready soon. Okay guys, so it's been a couple more minutes. And here we go. Look at these. We're going to pop them out and plate them. Look at that guys. You tell me you don't want a George Foreman grill. And you tell him never did you want one until you saw keto meets menopause make them for you. Look at that brown goodness, guys. Look. How wonderful is this? Now look, I'm going to be back with a little surprise for you guys. So hold tight. Don't think it's over yet. Hold okay, guys. So check out this little gadget. Now, this is like 10 years old. Now they have all the fancy schmancy ones, but this was like the original, guys. And I love it. Love, love, love my gadget. Look at those, so perfectly chopped. Now I leave the seeds in there because if it's, if, if, that's where some of the flavor is, guys. All right, so here's the deal. While we were at break and I was pulling out my cute little gadget here, I went ahead and added half a cup of cheese. I added uh, half a cup of the rest of my uh, taco meat that I had. And I'm going to add two and a half ounces of these green chilies. I'm sorry. 
I'm adding two and a half ounces of these orange sweet peppers. It has a few jalapenos in here. Guys, my hand slips. I'm not watching what I'm doing, but that's okay. You get the picture, all right? So here we go. We're going to let these cook for 10 minutes. See you in a minute. Here we are. We are going to go ahead and plate this batch of these yummy, yummy, yummy muffins. Egg muffins. And, um, sorry guys. It's hard to do this with one hand. Anyway, I'm going, I still have a whole bunch more to, to cook. I will do that off camera and when he gets home in about 20 minutes, we will go ahead and do a taste test with him. All right, guys. All right. I hope you're enjoying the series of cooking with my favorite kitchen gadgets. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's Alma. So David's back from his wedding event and I have been cooking when you've been gone. You have. Can you tell? I've been a cooking freak. I have been a little busy beaver cooking. So I'm going to let David taste everything and see what he says. First one is egg, ricotta cheese, and spinach. Okay. First bite. Mm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. It's really moist, right? Mm. Very moist. Would there be any type of dipping sauce that this could go into? Yeah, I mean, some Frank's hot sauce. You could use some guacamole sauce. You could use some, mm. any, whatever you want. Guacamole yeah. sauce is what, what I was thinking. Yeah. I used a half a cup of cheddar cheese. I used half a cup of the remainder of the taco meat that we had. And then some of the sweet peppers that we bought. Mm -hmm. Today, I used 2.5 ounces of those. Mmm. And jalapenos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good? Even better than that one. Is it? Yes. Oh, good. Um, yeah, okay, so, next, the Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. Yeah. Roast it. Mm. Aren't those good? I can eat some of this, guys. Very tasty. Wow. They're crunchy. They're roasty. Mm -hmm. Air fryer. Mm, yeah. Now some vinaigrette over top of this. You want me to rate them? Mm-hmm. Good, better, best. No way. Way. Really? Yeah. Good, better, best. No. I, I, I'm full because of the keto friendly meal that you made me to go to the wedding your lunch box yes but I would eat the rest of those I know they're good aren't they they're very good yes I love them some type of little drizzled sauce on there mm -hmm. would just the vinaigrette yeah perfect It'd be delicious right yeah and this was some of the um, queso fresco yeah on top of it uh, yeah and with some a little, little bacon and bits and... maybe well I was gonna make one some with bacon bits but I thought no let's can't go wrong with bacon. You never go wrong with bacon. You like it? Mm-hmm. Well, so they're glad. crunchy, but they're soft. Oh, it's so good, guys. Mmm, a butter sauce. I already have butter on there, but yeah. Uh, like like you would use for artichokes. Mm-hmm. That would just that would be the yeah with garlic in it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. He likes food. Luck of the garlic. I'm glad you enjoyed it, baby. Mmm. It makes food for the guest. Mm -hmm. And the guest enjoys it. Mm -hmm. What is customary for the cook to do? Oh, tell the guest to do the dishes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> no, I've already done the dishes. I did it all. Oh, well, I'm happy to help. Yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, so that wraps it up. Um, you're a really good looking cook. <laughs> okay, guys, that wraps it up uh, from Keto Meets Menopause and 
Who are you? Oh, I'm I'm David. I'm Alma's husband. You're Keto Meets Menopause. I'm Keto Meets Menopause. That's right. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this edition. I hope you enjoyed um, some ideas to use in your um, two kitchen gadgets that I know you're going to buy. You're going to buy them, guys. You're going to And look, I get nothing out of the deal, guys. So if you buy it, you're just going to have great meals. And that's what you're going to get. And that's what I'm, I'm going to be thrilled when I see videos that you guys are cooking with your new air fryer. In fact, a couple of you guys have already mentioned that you bought one. So really happy for you guys. All right, guys, um, we're going to sign off and um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.